It has been a decade now since the Pagulas decided to invest in the Buffalo Sabres hockey team. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News Sports Director Matt Bove takes a look back at the past 10 years to see where the Sabres have been and where they're going now. Starting today, the Buffalo Sabres' reason for existence will be to win a Stanley Cup. That was Terry Pagula 10 years ago today as he was officially introduced inside HSBC Arena as the newest owner of the Buffalo Sabres. I want to run the team to win the Stanley Cup. So whatever that involves, I guess we've got to figure it out. If I want to make some money, I'll go drill a gas well. The first few months of the Pagula era were quite successful. The 2010-2011 Sabres went on an incredible second half run Here's to seal a trip to the playoffs. But that's when the magic ended. Since that news conference 10 years ago, the Sabres have the fewest wins of any NHL team and they own the longest playoff drought in the league. Uh, we believe in acting and not reacting to uh, certain situations. We as owners had a vision to where we need to go in these uncertain times. That was Pagula last June as the team hired current GM Kevin Adams. He is now the fourth general manager to work for the Pagulas alongside Darcy Regeer, Tim Murray, and Jason Bottrell. You know, on the bill side, it took us several times there. We got, you know, we feel like right now we got the right people. We're going to keep trying. We feel like Kevin is the right person. That revolving door has spun even more often behind the bench. Since 2011, the Sabres have had six head coaches with only Ruff leading this team to the playoffs. Lindy said it publicly. I saw him on television. He said, I want to win a Stanley Cup in Buffalo. Uh, what gets any better than that? So while things looked like they were on the up and up a decade ago, the wait continues and the question remains. When and how will the Pagulas live up to that Stanley Cup promise? And like you heard in the story, the Sabres have the longest drought in the NHL right now at nine years. If they miss the playoffs again this season, that will become a new NHL record for the most continuous seasons without making the playoffs. Keith, nobody wants to have that record.